First things first, got to get some baseline readings. And let's get a weight for this guy. 2.03 ounces. OK, I need the head, the torso, and the tail length. Well, the head, three centimeters. OK. Torso? Five centimeters. OK. And the rest is all tail. So what's that, 6.5? Yeah. Which means the total is 14.5 centimeters, which is 5.7 inches. Two thirds of this iguana is either teeth or spiky tail. That's a heavily armed lizard for a tree hugging pacifist. Claws, teeth, and the spiky tail from hell. I've never seen anything like that. It's like a battering ram covered in big spikes. When I was trying to get him, he used that tail, oh, just oh. whacking me. And he's only tiny, but he drew blood every time. I want to see how strong his tail strike actually is. I would love that. This is a force sensor that'll give us a reading of kinetic energy measured in joules. Now, if I remember correctly, a joule is a unit of energy generated by mass and motion, correct? Yes. This sensor, it's super sensitive, which is why these are so perfect, because they can collect micro data, which is what we're after. No matter where it hits mm -hmm. on the surface, we'll get a reading of the whip force of the iguana. OK. That also means I need you to dig deep for this next one. <laughs> I know where you're going. You know what you're going to have to do. <laughs> I'm happy to bleed for the cause. I need for you to get the iguana to hit that sensor. All right, got him right beside it. Oh, he hates me right now. He is super annoyed. But let me assure you, he is not being hurt or harmed in any way. I'm holding him very gently but firmly. But he is so fired up that I'm going to have to hold him near there in order for him to swing at that target, because he wants to swing at me, not at an inanimate target. All I have to do is just touch him in the back there, and he slams on me. OK, I'm set. We're recording. OK, ready? Yep. OK, touching now. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, that's good. Let's see. What do we got? Okay. Give me the news. Check this out. That's 11 joules of tail strike from a guy that's barely two ounces. Wow. He is pure power. Let me ask you this. What's a bigger animal comparable to this guy? Well, an alligator can really bring the hurt with his tail strike as well. So let's see how our tiny iguana would do if he sprouted up to the mass of an 800-pound alligator and then both reptiles headed to a boxing gym. The gator would strike a punching bag with a bone-crushing 9,900 joules, five times stronger than the punch of a champion heavyweight fighter. But when our mega iguana swings his mighty tail, he'll generate 70,000 joules of energy. That's seven times stronger than the gator and more than enough to absolutely destroy that punching bag. It's a unanimous decision. The iguana is the undisputed world champion. That tail is a wrecking ball covered in spikes. It's no wonder he's managed to survive in such a predator-rich environment. And keep in mind, when two dominant males run afoul of each other, we get a turf war. And that results in a brutal tail lashing duel. We got to see how fast he is. <laughs> I know this little guy will be really quick because the world record for top lizard speed was set by a Costa Rican spiny tailed iguana, the exact same genus as our guy. So he is built for speed. <laughs> Let's clear the runway. I got the high-speed camera set up. We've got the centimeter reference panel set up. He's ready to be out. You ready with the net? I'm ready. All right. Standing by. All right. One, two, three, go. Oh, go. oh, 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 oh. Let him go. Oh. Get him, net, 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 net. Got him, got him. Woo. You are spiky. Did look fast. How fast was it? See what we got. Oh, man. Let him go. Look at the wheels on this little guy. He just did 40 centimeters and 3 tenths of a second. That's 133 centimeters, or 52 inches per second. That means it's traveling 3 miles per hour. That is quick, because he's only 40.5 centimeters long. That means he's doing 9 body lengths per second. And by the way, human beings, 
we only do five. So proportionally, he's faster than the fastest human being. This truly is a speed demon yeah. in his world. He is mm. so fast, so agile, so lethal, nearly impossible to outrun if you're its prey, and nearly impossible to catch if you're a predator. He's fast. You proved it. We saw it in the trees. We saw it on the table. OK. But being fast is only part of what he is. He's also powerful. We saw how much power he has on the back end, in his tail. But his power does not stop there. His front end packs a wallop, too. Think about the power it takes to pull himself up and down this forest canopy. His upper body and those little stocky limbs are incredibly strong, and they're designed to pull off that maneuver. Very true. In fact, the strength of these animals is legendary. According to folklore in Mexico, if you ate a spiny-tailed iguana, you would be imbued with the lizard's legendary strength and courage. That's amazing. I would love to know how powerful he really is. <laughs> OK, I do have an iguana harness we could put on. You have a what now? I have an iguana harness <laughs> just for occasions <laughs> like this. Check this out. You made an iguana harness out of chocolate leather. I've seen it at all. I'm going to grab this little four-legged chainsaw and put him in your sexy chocolate leather harness. Hopefully, I won't lose any more flesh. There we go. OK, easy does it. Now, this miniature harness is made of soft, pliable leather. He'll barely know he's wearing it. And of course, it won't cause any sort of harm or discomfort. He will, however, look very stylish in his chocolate leather jacket. Look at that perfect fit. Now, I want to use our pull force sensor to measure his upper body strength, the power he generates when he pulls himself up or down on those thorny trees. OK, let's do it. Here we go. Three, two. One, go. There we go. There we go. He's okay. pulling. He's pulling. Oh, he spiked. Look at him go. He is lifting the burlap off the table. Oh, look at that. He's, he's actually dragging the sensor. Oh. oh! He's pulling. He's pulling. He's oh, pulling. That's a beautiful spike. This is a power packed little giant. All right, what you got? Give me a number. 0.37 pounds of force. Wow. He has a mass of two ounces. So that's three times his body weight. That's impressive. The smallest iguana in the world. Yes, he is. But pound for pound, one of the toughest little giants we've ever come across. Oh, yeah.